Hello there! Uh, this time we're going to make a general uh, build of a vampire, where we are not uh, focusing on the clan, but how you're making a character in general. Um, first off, uh, when I would, uh, if I would should make make one, I would find out uh, what kind of person I would I would uh, play. Would I be a lawyer, a priest, a cop? Um, what drives my character to where he is? Um, and after that, find a clan who um, who fits who fits that. Um, there's a lot of clans. Um, and then, uh, when you have found your uh, found your clan, I would uh, find out with the disciplines I would start start up with, and what kind of uh, attributes and abilities I would uh, I would take. Um, like dominate, as the hypnotic uh, discipline uses a lot of you know social stats and so on. Um, and if you are fighting one, they may be used a little more, more dex stamina um, and so on. Um, so when you have found your 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 clan, uh, every clan start at generation 13, uh, unless you are playing in um, in the dark ages. I think that is one generation lower than anything else. But let's go. Uh, by this, uh, when you found out what kind of person you are, uh, you should also find out what nature you have. And nature is your inner self. Um, like if you are a murderer or monster, uh, I think it's down here, monster. Uh, you wouldn't uh, show people necessarily that you were a monster. So instead of um, your nature is monster, and how people uh, see you uh, is monster. You probably more like uh, if you would be a guy, maybe like Dexter. Um, you would probably be. Oh, I can um, can find it. A caregiver. You try to also De Dexter is not that, but you probably trying to help people and when you are alone with them you're probably going to kill them or whatever uh, fits your fits your character um, and in the book they are dis dis described what they are there is a lot and I won't uh, go through them all but and some of them are you know self explain explanatory um, Childish and caregiver and so on, um, and your nature is um, the way you uh, regain willpower, and that is down here. You can use willpower to get automatic su successes on a roll you really want to to make, and that is the only way to get your willpower back when you're using it. If you like have let's say 6 willpower and you use 1 willpower, 2 willpower and so on. You can only use 1 each uh, turn uh, but I can give you 1 automatic su success and then your willpower is actually only 3 now uh, so it's much easier for people to mind control you or do other stuff. So how to get the back is to fulfill your nature and if it's, if it's monster you have to you know, slaughter people uh, maybe in some gruesome way. Um, the only other way to regain willpower is the optional rules that you gain one uh, temporary willpower back every time you rest a full day. So it's important uh, for some clans uh, that your nature fits uh, your playstyle. For some others it's not that important. Uh, but for Ravenous, the illusion vampires, they use a lot of willpower to all their uh, vampire abilities, so they will run out fast if they don't have a proper um, nature. And this is your concept, your, your priest, police, cop, uh, so on, uh, and the clan. And who made you? Who are your vampire cr creator, father, or mother? 
um, who made this game, uh, the player's name and your name. Um, but when you found out what disciplines you that uses what, and that is in the description uh, below, um, you could you sh you uh, have to fill these out, and you have uh, seven, five, and three points, meaning that you can put like if you're social vampire, you use seven points in this column then 5 in this column and 3 in, in this one or how you would do it if you're a fighter you probably would use 7 like uh, this and maybe 3 like this and you are an intelligent fighter uh, like this maybe um, or how you would put it you can only start off with uh, the maximum of five in your uh, in your attributes, uh, unless you are playing dark ages, then you can get up to six. Uh, but the GM or storyteller would maybe only let you get it to five. But you can uh, get it to six if you uh, do some stuff. But for for the most part, uh, go to maximum of five, uh, both in the attributes and in the abilities. If your score is four or higher, you get a specialty. Uh, that means that if you fulfill that, uh, the tens you are rolling uh, counts as two instead of one. Success meaning that if you are trying to threat someone and you have uh, threatening in your manipulation uh, specialty uh, if you're trying to make a manipulation intimidation role that all your tens will count as two successes instead of one um, when you are rolling to uh, to try to accomplish something like you're making a dex brawl to hit someone with your bare hands you always mix some uh, something from the attributes with the abilities, like the dex three and brawl uh, e example. Or if you try to lie to someone, that's a manipulation subterfuge. So you mix these with these. Um, and if you have a specialty in your manipulation and in the subterfuge that both uh, qualify um, for your lying role. Uh, that your tens are counted as free successes. Um, yeah, strength is how strong you are, how hard you hit, and how much you can lift. Dexterity is how easy you uh, are to hitting people and dodge attacks, uh, and jumping and so on. Stamina is how many beatings you can take. Um, charisma is the is the way people see you uh, if you're trying to seem nice or seem frightened or to you know try to uh, show some emotions that people can pick up on that's your charisma Man manipulation is you're straight up trying to manipulate people with words uh, and appearance is how beautiful or ugly you are um, and have some benefits uh, too perception is what you uh, see what you um, react to uh, can you see that some people are hiding uh, behind some barrels or can you find something that's hidden that's your perception role intelligence is both uh, if you know your knowledge but also uh, for some uh, roles uh, your um, yeah knowledge roles uh, you know how to build something you know what the occult is you know so on and your wits is how fast you're reading and reacting to stuff uh, not dexterity based. Um, yeah, um, how fast you're thinking and reacting. Uh, down here we have uh, in the abilities. Actually, you can only start off with three points in any one of of these two for for the maximum, and I will come up. In, uh, I will get back to some special rules, but when you're starting with this, you can only have three for the maximum am amount in the start. And you have uh, 13, uh, 9, and 5 points. 
and the same way you have to choose do I want to use 13 here or here or here or 5 here and 9 here whatever you want like 13 here and 9 here and 5 here could be based on what kind of character you are playing and what uh, vampire disciplines you are using um, alertness is and you're mixing these so uh, perception alertness rolls is almost always that but alertness is that uh, you if you are alert you see uh, people sneak up uh, behind you athletic is the ability to hit people with throwing weapons and dodge attacks and jump from house to house um, there are also some secondary abilities both in uh, mostly in mage uh, but there's some abilities you can choose beyond these uh, that is not written on the on the sheet um, there could be flying if you want to be an uh, be a pilot that's not drive that's flying um, or so on but for the most part you only need these for, for the basic game um, awareness is the ability to spot magical events like you see people casting spells or see mystical energies and so on Brawl is the ability to grab onto people, hit people with your bare hands, um, you know, throwing people to the ground, uh, yeah, so on. Uh, empathy is the ability to see what people are feeling, but most importantly, see if people are lying. Um, expression is how good are you at express your express your, yourself. That would be if you cannot speak the language, you can make gestures to get people to understand that you are hungry. Uh, intimidation, you can intimidate people uh, to give you the information or flee. Uh, leadership, you're good at rallying people up to fight for you and with you and so on. Streetwise is uh, how easy do you uh, know the street, can you find your way around the city, do you know some mobs or criminal you can get help from or buy from and sub and subterfuge is the ability to lie um, and make false falsehoods uh, animal can is how good are you to c communicate with animals crafting is how good are you at building and repairing stuff uh, if your car have broke broken down this is the ability to go to Drive is how good are you at driving, uh, driving cars, um, maybe motorboats, and if your GM allows it, fly uh, planes. Um, if you don't want to have any trouble uh, driving the most uh, basic cars, you should have two points in this one. Uh, etiquette is how well you are acting. Like, do you know how to eat with the right right fork? And, do you re remember to bow and do you s say sir instead of what up man uh, and so on firearms is any kind of shooting weapon uh, that is not uh, a bow and a crossbow but your GM or storyteller could let this be, be, be that too but basically it's shooting weapons uh, lastly is the way to open locks uh, and uh, yeah break codes and some, something else. That can also be computer if you're trying to hack, but you know, get electronics locks could be lastly. Melee is any kind of weapon you can have in your hands that's not range based, like a baseball bat, a sword, an axe, and so on. Uh, performance is if you're good at singing, dancing, stand up, um, magicians, tricks, so on. Um, Stealth is how good are you at sneaking and um, and uh, hiding. Uh, and survival, how good are you at tracking in the woods, find um, if you are a normal human being, find food or where is a good place to, oh if you are outside in the wood, where is a good place to sleep so you don't get hit by sunlight and so on. Academics, how much have you gone to school? Have you only been in middle school, home school? Uh, are you highly educated and so on? Computer, uh, how good are you with a computer? Can you hack? Can you use it? Um, so on. 
finance is to know what things are worth uh, if you find a diamond and try to sell it and they say like you will get 50 bucks is that a fair price or a bad price and you know how to get money and see what things are worth investigation um, is in the books more a uh, way to find people you know like a de de uh, detective work but um, but people are also using it as finding stuff in buildings finding hidden hidden papers and guns as, but that's actually the ability called search uh, you can take but the most um, um, story storytellers will allow allow this to um, to be the ability um, law is you know the law you know basic uh, traffic rules or um, you know what is right and wrong uh, in in the law law and if you get this high you can you know be a, a lawyer and bend rules and so on medicine is the ability for you to first aid people to see if they are okay see maybe what is wrong with them and so on occult is your understanding of the magical world uh, what what rules are there what creatures lives in the night what can the other clans do um, so on politics if you are very political and want power this is the ability to go to science you are a great sci scientist and or maybe just can do some basic science stuff and technology uh, if you get some new uh, te te uh, technology in your hand can you uh, use it uh, do you know how technology works and so on um, then we go to disciplines uh, there's a lot uh, and every vampire uh, clan have uh, three, uh, three different ones that they start start off with, um, and they have special abilities like potents increase your strength and protein is the ability to transform uh, and be more animal like. Um, um, Necromancy is the way to summon spirits and zombies and so on. And there's a lot of di different ones. Um, and you have only three points here, and you start off with with uh, with with three, so you can put one in each. Um, but the more points you put in one, uh, the more abilities you get, and the more powerful they often uh, often get. Um, um, yeah, so you have to find out, out what kind of level you want them, and they can only go to free uh, at the character creation. Just like these can only be at free, and these can only be at five. Then there is the background. That's what you start start off with. Uh, most people are taking gen generation. Uh, that is, uh, and you have five. You have five points, and the maximum is five at the character creation. But the generation is how close are your bloodline to the first original vampires. Uh, so if you put only one point in, in this, your generation will fall from 13 to 12. And all the way to 8. Um, and the lower uh, your generation is, is, the more blood you can have in your body. Uh, down here, and the more blood you can uh, use to either heal your damage, uh, use some vampire abilities that uses blood, uh, or increase some of your physical stats for a short amount of time. Um, so the lower you have, the better. And if your generation drops all the way down to seven, um, and this was what, what I meant that these are to five only but if you're playing at dark ages and you take uh, the last point then then these can be increased to six uh, because your bloodline is so uh, re refined and that in in increases uh, for every time your generation falls um, but that is what most uh, player takes because it's very hard to get uh, lower generation 
The only way you can do that is by living hundreds of years or uh, die blair people. That means that you're eating vampire with lower generation than yours soul. And that can be tricky and quite dangerous, but also beneficial if you are succeeding. Uh, some other things you also can take is, uh, for example, resources. This is everything you start off start off with when you are starting your campaign. Resources uh, you start with some extra money, maybe a car, an apartment, uh, a job. Um, herds are people that um, that you are feeding on, and or is it ghouls? Uh, oh no, that is no. Sorry, herds are ghouls. Uh, people you're feeding your blood to, so they do what you say. And retainers are people you're feed, feeding from, and so on. There's a lot of difference. You dom domain some of the city. Uh, vampire knows that that's that's yours, and so on. Uh, and you have five five points, and you can choose like oh, that's fame twice. Uh, like this, and put it up. You can choose any number, at least uh, as long as you put one point in it. Um, so yeah, you have to find out. And here you have your virtues. You have seven points, and that's not in a column. That's just straight up seven points. You can put to a maximum of five. Uh, conscience is how easy you have. Uh, how easy uh, you have to uh, have by killing people. Um, is it hard for you by only have one point or is it super easy for you to just go on and slaughter people? Uh, and I will in a minute tell you why that could be imp important. Self self control is if you are smelling blood and you're hungry or that there's just a lot of blood and can you co control yourself or you just you know Drinking, uh, drinking the, the the random blood you are you are finding, or attacking people to get the blood. How easy do you have to uh, control control yourself? And then there is courage. Courage is how uh, how how hard do you have for running when you see something that that frightens you, like sunlight, fire, uh, people transforming into monsters, and so on. So the higher your courage are, the easier it is to um, re resist. Um, your conscience and self-control makes up for your humanity. So if you have like uh, this, your humanity is seven. And the higher your humanity are, the fewer things you can do without rolling a conscience roll. Like if this is. 10 and you're trying to steal someone's wallet, you have to roll it, and if you uh, fail or get zero su successes or botches, you lose one point, and so on. And if your humanity is like this, you can easily steal from people without uh, rolling, and so on. So the lower it is, the more you can do, but the closer you are to the beast. Um, and the beast is on something most vampire fears because if your humanity reaches uh, zero your character cannot do anything else but sleep eat kill and your character is out of the game if you are one you are so close that you mostly just kill people if they are looking funny at you or just annoys you um, so and the lower your humanity is, the s the later you wakes up uh, after night starts. So a person with ten humanity will probably wake up the second that the sun goes down. A guy like this with um, as a with with seven points uh, would wake up like a few hours later and so on. Um, and your courage makes up for your willpower. Um, your willpower is how easy people have to, uh, are for mind con controlling you, and also gives you more uh, points to use to get automatic successes for something you really want to uh, achieve. 
Um, these are the damage. If you're getting one damage, uh, that is there. Two damage, three damage, four damage, five damage, six damage, seven damage, and on the eighth damage, you die. Uh, these minus points are dice you have to remove from your roll. So if we are making a dex brawl roll to hit someone, and you let, let's say you normally have five dice, you only have four. Or let's say you have six, just to make it easy. Then you have five, and here you still have five. Here you have uh, four, and you still have four, and here you have only have one die left. And here you cannot fight, you are incapacitated, you are knocked out. Um, and then there are three kinds of damage. There is the uh, bruised level, meaning uh, you got hit very hard with, with a fist. and It's not going to kill you, it hurts, but it's not going to, to kill you. And then there is the lethal damage, that if I took a knife and poked you, you could probably die from it. Uh, and then there is the last damage that is aggravated, that's if you have been hit by laser, flamethrowers, uh, so on, and some vampire abilities. Uh, vampires can only die if they reach the last one here with aggravated, it's the hardest kind of damage to get. But, let's say you have got bruised all the way down, uh, uh, sorry, bashing all the way down here. And you get more bashing, let's see, 5 points more after you reach incapacitated. Or let's say you have reached crippled and you get 5 points of of uh, uh, bashing. Just do it like this. Crill, you get 5 more, more points of bashing. Then you get 1, then this becomes lethal. 2, 3, 4, 5. Then there's lethal damage. You can still not you cannot die by lethal damage. Let's say you get five more bashing or five let's say five five lethal or bashing. Uh, it doesn't really care. Let's just say bashing. Then this one, two, three, and then this become aggravated for five. With blood points and you have ten to fifteen to start off with normally. You can use a certain amount of blood depending on your generation to heal your damage every turn. So if you can use like three blood points every turn, you can say I want to remove this, this, and this, and you can heal bashing and lethal by using one blood point for each. But aggravated, you can only heal by using five blood points at the same time, and that you cannot do at the starting level. So the way you heal this is by using a full day and use 5 blood points, then you can do it, uh, and 5 blood points more and a willpower if you want to heal 2 in one day. But then you are quite hungry, and so you have to have some food nearby. So aggravated is very very uh, ugly to, um, to re receive. Yes. Um, then there is the clan weakness, every vampire clan has, has one. Like um, like uh, Gangrels looks more more like animals, and Nosferatu have their appearance at zero and so on. Um, then you should or could you you are actually not forced to take your flaws. Flaws could be you are addicted to someone, you have a bad side, you're blind, uh, so on, and they give uh, different points each. You can find that in the book too. And you can maximum, uh, un unless your storyteller tells you otherwise, have uh, flaws worth of points at 7 points. Uh, and they can both be physical, mental, social and supernatural, and that will also stand in the book. And you can only, you, you could take like 5, if you only want flaws of 5 or 0, or take all the, all the 7 points. When you have done, done that, and just for making it easy, we are saying you have taken the maximum of 7 points. You start off with 15. So if you have taken 0 flaws, you have 15 points. If you are taking all the, the 7 points, uh, points of flaws, you have 22 points. Uh, and I will um, 
I will recommend you t taking flaws to make the campaign uh, funnier, to build your character, um, so on. For your flaw points or freebie points, uh, you can buy merits. There's a list of all kind of different merits. Like you want an additional discipline, or you want someone owning your boon. A boon is a favor. Uh, and so on. There's uh, is a lot of uh, merits you 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 take, or you could uh, increase your disciplines. They cost seven points each, uh, and merits are you know depending on which merit you you are taking. But uh, disciplines cost seven each. Your background costs one point each. Your abilities cost two points each, and here you can actually increase it to over three points to the maximum of 5, uh, unless you are playing Dark Ages and have taken maximum in background, you can, uh, stop, uh, generation, you can have it at 6 points. Um, and you can increase your uh, attributes and it costs 5 points each. And then there is uh, your, uh, your virtues, it costs 2 points each, your humanity costs 2 points each, and your willpower costs 1 point each. Um, and when you have done all that, you maybe start with some starting weapon or armor, you write down what kind of allies or hurts you have, um, then you write down your age, uh, how old you are looking. May in, in the beginning, uh, you are probably just been turned. So if you are like 25, you could look like 25 years old, but you can also look like um, 20 years old if you look very young or 30 years old uh, if you look older. Uh, but when time goes, you are maybe 250 because you live 200 years, but you still look like 30 years old and so on. You just just uh, fill out this uh, date of birth. Uh, when you got bitten, your hair color, your eye color, your race, your nationality, your height, your weight, and your gender. Um, and I didn't assume that. Um, then the only thing you actually uh, then, then you're actually done. But I will come with some uh, rec re recommendations. Uh, I have found through playing this game. Um, I have found that strength is not that important. It's more important than you can hit stuff. Uh, because if people are trying to, to dodge you, it's just nice to hit them and give them some damage. Maybe it's small, but you uh, inflict it every turn instead of every five turns. You're actually hitting them, but then you are also hitting them from a lot of damage. And then have a lot of stamina uh, to uh, negate damage you are being hit with. It's also good to have. Uh, in these, I found that manipulation is more important than charisma and appearance. But again, depending on what kind of game you are you are playing, charisma could be more important or appearance, and what your goal is and what your character is like. If you like Mr. Bond, charming, it's good to have some appearance to get the attention from both men and women, or only women. Um, here I think that perception is very nice for finding hidden stuff and find people that are trying to steal from you and so on and some intelligence which I'm normally not using this, uh, this as much as the two others. And down here I will just mark them as thing I should you should at least have one in. Uh, and when I do this myself I always, uh, if I should take nine points here, put one in each of those I actually want and see how many points I have left and fill that out. Like if I have nine points I would put it like uh, this um, and then I say one, two, three, four, five, six points and I have three points left doo -doo. Uh, and then I have one point left doo -doo. then I use nine points instead of oh I just put maximum in all of these and then oh I have gone over my limit and I would also like some of these oh damn it so this that is what I normally do um, but something I think all should have at least one in is alertness because uh, the, the difference is if you have zero and one is that the difficulty increases by three points 
Meaning that if someone is trying to steal from you, you only have like perception three. You only have three dice to roll, and the difficulty is usually nine. Um, so he tries to steal with a dex stealth or streetwise or what you are using, um, and he get like three successes. Then then it's hard to get this with only three dice. If you at least have one in this. Um, only two perception, that's fine. But then I have three dice on, on a difficulty six. So that's way easier. That's why it's good to have at least one in most stuff. Uh, but something you should have was alertness, athletics, to, so you have at least a little chance of dodging an attack. Um, and you can also use it to attack from afar with stones or knives or whatever you want. Uh, some means that, some says that. Uh, awareness is good. It's depending on on your clan. At least have one in brawls. You can you know knock pe people off you if they're trying to feed on you and stuff like stuff like that. Uh, and you can hit someone. You can actually defend defend yourself. Um, empathy is also good to have at least one in so you can see if people are lying. Um, I would take uh, one streetwise so you're not you know. Um, getting lost in the city and one in subterfuge is also good to have uh, so you can lie you don't have to tell the tell the truth um, drive is good to have but not ne uh, necessary especially if you're playing with with a team and at least one other have drive but what I think you should have at least one fighting ability that is better than brawl so at least one in firearms or one in melee uh, lastly, it's also good to break in doors, but you, know, you could take it or leave it, or at least one stealth so you can sneak. Um, yeah. Over here, um, have at least I would say one in academic so you can read uh, and do some math, um, and always have one in investigation so you can find stuff you are ser uh, searching for. Uh, and at least have one in a call so you know there's other clans so not totally blank um, yeah and your dice pool we only use this d10s and your dice pools uh, depends on how much you have in what you are going to roll like dex brawl right now I only have two dice but if it was like this and you try to hit someone in the face uh, just hit them, that's 8 die uh, on a difficulty 6 and if you're trying to hit them in the face is difficulty 2 higher so difficulty 8 and then if you're rolling damage it's your strength um, yeah and the last thing I will go, go through is um, the way to build a, a character you can build it you know role playing based I will recommend that for storytelling like if you are a cop, you maybe have three in dex, you have like three in strength, and you have two in stamina. You use your five points here and so on. So you put it like your character would would have it, or you can use it balanced. Uh, like if you have to do seven points, you have to do like this. You cannot. Uh, you have to make it even. Uh, so you are good at everything. You are not bad at anything. Um, because like if you were uh, um, if you were one who a bum who cheats people for money, you have a lot of in manipulation, a little bit of charisma. Uh, because hey, your character is and two appearance, you're good at getting money money from people. That's you know not balance based, so you can do it like this or role playing based like this and then there is the last option in my opinion and that is the XP based meaning that you are playing your points um, so that um, you are using the most amount of experience um, on these starting dodge like these cost 4 points each so if you have uh, you use 3 points like this to get the next one, it would cost you eight, four, eight, and then you could put it there. So it's eight, eight, eight. But if you're using like this, it's four, eight, 
12, 16 to get then get the next one and only 4 points, 4 points so for 8 points you already have these set up and you actually closer to get the maximum amount of points you can have oh, sorry. and down here you should never take anything at 2 because if you are um, taking it like this, 1, 2, 3 uh, that would cost you uh, 3, 6, 9 points in experience points um, but if you're doing like this you have used for 3, 6, 8 points so you lose 1 point of experience but if you're doing this you have 3 and then 2 for each dot uh, 3, 5 and then 9 so you're still getting your 9 points uh, in experience uh, so that is the way uh, you can make a character. I hope I have uh, inspired you to make a very awesome uh, vampire. Uh, so I hope to see you again. Bye!